Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Today we have two devices here. The bottom one, the black one, is the S21 Ultra. And the top white one is Note 20 Ultra. Both of these two devices are the Snapdragon variant. So on the S21 Ultra, you have Snapdragon 888. And on the Note 20 Ultra, you have Snapdragon 865 Plus. Today we'll do a direct comparison of the two running PUBG Mobile International version on Ultra HD settings. So as you can see, I've set both to Ultra HD plus 40 FPS plus AA on. And that's the highest quality settings you can get in this game. And of course, at the moment, on Ultra HD, you can't go beyond 40 FPS. The maximum is 40. But I believe in the future, 60 or even 90 will be available. And of course, you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more tests in the future after updates. And the way I'm going to do this test is I'll play on one device and spectate on the other. And I'll actually interchange the two devices. So for the first half, for the first half, I'll play on the Note 20 Ultra. And then after maybe 15 minutes, I'll play on the S21 Ultra. And uh, that will make up a 30 minute uh, test. And I've played and spectate on both. So it will be very, very fair. Okay. Uh, and I'll also show you the real-time FPS on the uh, on the screen, okay? And also at the end of the video, I'll show you an FPS and power record so that we know which performs better and which one has better uh, power efficiency, okay? So without further ado, let's go. So this will be a 30 minutes plus uh, long test and it won't be super interesting. I'll just uh, speed up the video. Uh, for you to save save you some time, okay? But I think I'll show you about uh, 3 minutes of gameplay at the end of the 30 minute, minutes uh, test session because most of you are more interested in the performance after a prolonged gaming session. So I think that is more meaningful than showing the starting point, right? So uh, you can actually um, watch this or you fast forward to the uh, near the end to see the uh, to see that three minutes of gameplay, all right?
Now the test is done, let's take a look at the FPS result. As you can see here, the performance are virtually identical and both of them performed almost perfectly. So except all those uh, loading sessions, basically both devices maintain six, uh, 40 FPS throughout the gameplay. So the average FPS are very, very close to perfect 40. And here the Snapdragon 888 S21 Ultra actually has a slightly higher than 40 FPS, but I think that's because in the lobby it actually renders at 60 FPS. So it will pull up the average a little bit. The actual performance are basically the same, okay? And that means for most of the games, uh, Snapdragon 865 Plus or 865 will just be good enough. There is virtually no perceptible difference from the Snapdragon 888, right? It's just a already good enough processor for games. Now let's look at the power consumption. And here we see a little bit of improvements from the Snapdragon 888. So the Note20 Ultra actually uses 3.5 watt of power on average here, while the S21 Ultra uses 3.2 watt of power. So there's about 9% uh, decrease in power consumption maybe. Um, and actually I, I can't say how much is due to the Snapdragon 888 processor because we know that the S21 Ultra also uses a more efficient display and maybe the, the RAM is also more efficient. So um, maybe there is some improvement from the processor but it's actually a quite small, it's a very marginal improvement. And finally, here is uh, all the results combined for those of you who are interested. Okay, that's all for today's comparison. So in conclusion, I think uh, the Snapdragon 865 is just good enough for most of the games. Uh, you don't just upgrade for the processor, okay? The Snapdragon 888 is not a huge improvement from the 865. Uh, if you want to upgrade, look at other aspects of the device, whether it has a better display, maybe a better design or better cameras. Those are the things you want to look for. Don't just upgrade for the processor. That's my conclusion and my advice. Okay, hope you guys like today's content and uh, see you next time.